Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show how to integrate Elasticsearch into your Node.js application. I have Node.js application, APIs application I created before and I have video on that. I, I leave the link in the description box. It's just API application for post, get, like all these um, methods. And I will modify the post and get, get by ID methods to work with Elasticsearch. So I will be using Elasticsearch JS, the official Elasticsearch client for Node.js. I will be using the, what now soon will be legacy version 15.4.1. It seems that they, I, I looked at their GitHub and it seems they soon will be announcing the new client, Elasticsearch Node.js client. But for now, I will be just using the existing client. So I will need to run npm install Elasticsearch first to install it. So navigate to app directory I have here API app so and install Elasticsearch here so let's go check I have it open so so I have installed it if you check packages on so first thing to I will need to create an instance of the Elasticsearch client class. So I will need where Great instance of client, client. So this construct to accept a config object where we can specify default values. I will be just specifying host name, host. And this is Elasticsearch address. I have it running on localhost. Default port. So next we'll modify our post. Before I was just making post request and we were just up was updating their local variable workout so I comment out this and we'll be using client index so this is method to add document to specific index. Index it's used in Elasticsearch as, as storage. So we will need specify what index will be work out and then type just say my type 
then we'll need specify ID. Um, it's not required. It will be assigned automatically if you not specify. I will be just getting IDs from my request. And then body. I will get from my whole body for my request. So and specify callback function. Points status and then we process our response if it's error. We just print to console this error. Otherwise, else we will return response. It will be a response from our API. Success to 200, and we will send back. Success message saying Oops. Copy this. and delete this from API since we moved it inside client index don't need here and save it so go start application and now in postman we can get post request We'll post some workouts. Let's do weights. So when we send it, see post workout call succeeded. And now let's use Kibana to check if it was posted. So if you open Kibana, go to management, and here you can create index pattern. So is index is workout. Like you here you can specify the pattern or this wildcard or just this specific and we say workout without wildcard. So next say create the index and go down discover. And here this there are others I posted earlier while working this project, but here the last one we just created D5. We can do one more. We do six and two cardio and send go back, refresh, and it was inserted right here. And now we can, by this ID, we can create our another API call to get them. So we'll go to our method get workout ID by ID, and we comment out this. And Find just local variable workout, and then on our client, we will call get and we specify what index and which index to search. So it will be workout, and then we specify type. 
the same my type and then I specify ID and it will be from manual request parameters ID it will be this ID from request and then you write callback function uh, response so if error print to console this error otherwise we will process response so in one will save response source source this part into workouts and then we can cancel all covers whole response Let's see on the requested document and print response There is no workouts. I mean, if there is no workout, was it nothing was returned? Then return response from our API status hundred. It's actually just copying here. this the next we will return from API we will return success and return this workouts We'll go restart our app and see if it works. So, get workouts. Let's get the D6. So, we got it back. And in console, we see the whole response from Elasticsearch. And that's it for, for my video and if you have any questions, comments, leave them below, subscribe and like and see you in my next one. Bye!